So, uh, what's up guys, we're back. We have a known contender right over here. Dude didn't want to move, bro. Yeah, I, don't know. I guess they're just tired of us going into this room. Corey! Am I spelling Corey right? Do you know how to spell Corey? What's Corey's last name? That's alright, it's just Corey. Smith, S. Yeah, Smith. Okay. And this one is Khaled. What's the other? Yeah, this is good. Donic. I hope they stay on the floor. <laughs> <laughs> Let's uh, see. Hopefully, you don't have to pick those up. Uh, we have a Milmer match here. So guys, um, just another small announcement. I said, it, I said it in the first round two, whatever, but in round three, we are going to be doing a giveaway. Uh, but it's going to be a little contest, kind of like a uh, prediction. If you can predict correctly the winner, you're going to get a prize. Stay tuned to what the prize is going to be. Uh, but that's going to be for the top cut. So once we get a talk call, we'll, we'll do the prediction. And we'll give you a list of the, the players that are, are in the top cut. This match is, um, it, this is a weird match to me, right? Because I've played the deck so many times, and I brick more times than often. Right? And I've seen other people play, and they, they don't brick. And it just... It makes me sad. You know how to delete this? I forgot. Honestly, I forgot. It's been so long. I have a bot for that. So I haven't really dealt with people doing that. Yeah, so he had to hard char hard play his Richie. And who's who's he playing against? It's not Renee, is it? No, it's Khaled. I think it, it's one of those names both that well. So maybe they can't stay on the floor. does play the uh, CD, Collateral Damage. I know there were players that were debating about playing it and cutting it off their deck. Uh, I'm, 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 a, I'm a fan of playing it. Because if your opponent like little doubles it, then so what? It's not a big deal. Um, it's not like it's your only play. And I'd rather them stop the Collateral Damage than to stop something that's more important for my win con, you know? Change those colors. The text? Yeah, you can change the text color font to like uh, orange, you know, orange or yellow. His opponent, uh, Caleb. Yeah, he was like, oh, I have regrets. Yeah, we're 
I can't find his list. Could you like? Oh, he has some weird name. It's like. Sorry, chat. I know I should be commentating, but there was a big thing on the screen, so I couldn't see. Okay. Can you? Can you, can you just write his name on the list, like his actual name that he has? Or just me and I'll write it. Like, because he did, he put some random fucking name. Cameron? Caribou Coon. Oh. What is his name? Caleb Vargas. Caleb. Caleb with a K. Vargas. Uh oh. Uh oh. Prison. Yeah. Okay. Not me. I think it's. I think that's doubles. Yeah, let's do double giveaway. How many, how many little doubles actually do you got? I could do legendary theory. Ooh. Oh. You got you got extra little doubles? For what? For me. <laughs> you doing the whole set or just one? This man, I can get a mock or something. Huh? Yeah, the whole set. Oh. You want, do you want to do it yourself? Like, do you want it to be like you think? After the round, yes. Okay, I mean, you can do it while they're playing. Like, that's when they're most it? quiet. Yeah. Does he have to stop for the Zala? No, this is from my heart, guys. Not <laughs> from my personal collection. Yeah, yeah right? From, from your personal collection. I don't I don't own that card. Like, I don't own the period. Like, not even the fake one. <laughs> I've, I've, been, I've been proxying little dose. Can you take some with you? No. I didn't take nothing with me, man. I only took the one for the what's his name? Uh, Wolf, Wolf, Wolf Chrome, whatever. Mm. Oh, this is looking tough. This is looking tough for Corey. He needs to do something right now. Formative clash would have been pretty nice here. Um, there we go. All right. He's gonna do the draw, draw two, charge one. Then he's gonna search. Well, they put the cards upside down. I put mine sideways. I think that's like a Magic the Gathering thing or something like that, or like a DBS where they put the cards upside down because of the mana. I don't know. I've seen a lot of Naruto players do that. No, nah, I've never seen Naruto players ever do that. No? Yeah, we, we always put our cards sideways. In the essence. I've only ever seen like fake players that play like DBS or like mul multiple different games or do something like that. Yeah. Uh, they can detach the, the Zala. No, I don't know what he detached. Yeah. Oh, he got he got rid of something from his opponent. Yeah. Yeah. So he uses uh, Balthazar to detach to discard. Let me just have to say the word detach, uh, because that is an important thing to know. <clears throat> I don't think he had a choice here. It's either, either going to be the Richie on the left or the Richie on the right. And he buys the retreat. We go round two. Let's get it. I'm gonna laugh if he's trying to like get like a. Uh, he got a comico. Unfortunately, he didn't get nothing great. His deck is real, real slim now. Uh, 
And he already has a hello in play, so he really can't do much here. Yeah, he's just putting his trump lock with the dynamo. It's such, it's such a it's such a weird match to watch, like just because the mirror. Like, I don't like it. I don't like I don't like this build at all. I know a lot of people really gravitate to it, but I like the introduction of Richie, right? But I don't like trying to focus on this Richie play. I like playing just a standard dragon deck with Richie in there because it procs some turn zero field card, and then just play just normal dragon stuff. I feel like you you, you do enough mills regardless of what, and you're able to play a really decent strong game. Super yeah. yeah. Like focusing purely on that, it's yeah. It's focusing on this milk gimmick, yeah. Ah, uh, so the Ryu puts in play Richie, so he had kind of the mill. Oh, he just brought out Ryu? Yeah, he brought out Ryu. He plays Zala, like a normal summon Zala, and then he played the transformation on Ryu, and then he brought out Richie. But he also brought the field card, so he did the field card first. So it went chain link one, Ryu chain link two, uh, field card. I'm gonna resolve you know, last one in, first one out. Well, if he activates Baltazar to get rid of the Sophie, he will definitely do it. Uh, but because he's not, yeah. Okay, there we go. There we go. Corey. I think he, I think he heard me. He's not noggin. Boom. All right. So you know what I've been playing in the Dragon Knight recently? What? Hard decision. To get rid of the necro? To, well, not just get rid of that, but like get rid of my own guy to, to mill some I, more. I heard somebody somebody commented on that. They were like, oh, I don't have enough bodies on board to run hard decisions. Like, okay. Because I was, I was doing some testing or whatever. Be nice with like uh, Dynamo? Dynamo not even just Dynamo, right? So I was doing, to do some testing. And the, the opponent would end up milling their deck to, to a certain point. And then you will go, especially against, like I say, you're playing against Necro, they might have like one card left in their deck, yeah. which is probably the graveyard, and you can just go, hard decision, take it as a prize, and you deck them out that way. Wait, 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 what's happening right now? You played, uh, what you call it? Um, Raikiri, and he made a mill nine cards? <laughs> Yeah, so Richie Lee's played triggers. Right here he comes in to play triggers. Alright. I'm I'm not nine, six cards, yeah. He he already had the Richie in play. So I, I said nine because I thought he played Richie and then he went to uh, right here, but it's six cards. So I'm, I misspoke. Is Paul Express legal for today? No, it's not legal for today. And even if it was legal, only, there's only like one deck that could actually play it. It would be Zoltan. There's not enough win cards to fully play a card like that. What does Corey just transform? Cause it's not Corey's turn. Oh. Wait, is he out of the deck? No, I think he might have like maybe seven cards left in his deck. No, I'm talking about Philip. Uh, I think I can see right there that he has. That's his best card. Oh, he has no cards left in the deck. All right, I think Corey got him. So there was a scenario that happened yesterday, actually. Where... Okay. No, he decked out, he decked out. 
So they were just discussing what they had in their hands. There's a scenario that happened yesterday. Like, what happens if, like, you mill out, you mill, right? You mill your opponent out, and then you attack them, but they have no cards in deck. And then they, they can't block. They can block. Okay, let's say they don't block. You don't win any prizes. Right? You don't win any prizes. Because it's do as much as you can. Forget those ones. There's nothing for you to give out. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. There's, there's no... And it's not, it's not a game loss at that point because game no. loss is checked at the end. Yeah, you got the end. It's not like in like Yu-Gi-Oh! or like other games where like once you meet your condition, the game ends immediately. This one's at the end of the at the end of the, the turn. It checks for for prizes. Okay, if there's a winner there, we, we 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 do a winner. Oh, no winner, then it goes to the next check. Car, it goes check cards in deck. If players have cards in their deck, then you're good. You go to the next check, which is cards in hand. What would you sign right now for this man? Um, I would. So I would take out no no no, no cap. If I'm playing against this deck, mm -hmm. I'm siding out my Draconic Palace, and I'm playing the Slayer's Guild Hideout. Really? And I'm going to body them with Sendo. I'm not playing Dino or Richie because I can't. You need to have a Draconic Grave, uh, Palace. Okay. You just swap what you're playing with Sendo. Why? Because Sendo puts a lot of pressure. Yeah. The amount of pressure that he puts is insane. Like I, I, I'm telling you, I don't know. I don't know if you've ever sat or, sat across the room or, or across the table, no, I, I, I and it has sendos after sendos. Send 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 yeah, he puts in so much pressure, dude. I, yeah, like I definitely like sendos. And then you, you just you just adding into like an aggro version of, of the deck. You're just like, yeah, whatever. And because you're because you because you got sla Slayer's Tri Hideout triple triple Draco Sword no 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 no, no. Be be because you're playing um, Hideout you're able to play the Necro cards now that need a Necro field card so Draconic Graveyard you need a Necro field card okay right so, you so get way more value out of it so now when you're milling me out I'm cool with I it because I can back. still I can still come back and keep playing the game nice. but I can still deck you out yeah because you know I can play Shower. And like, if your deck is plasma based and has those plasma fields, you, you still get that. Yeah. It doesn't go away. I kind of like that. That's not legal. He was saying something about the gallery. Oh, he was talking about the, um, uh, the Pollux Pride. Oh. Yeah, he was asking if it was, if it was legal for today. Like, no, 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 it's not legal, but even if it was, it's going to be hard to play. Not many win cards to play. That is cool. How do you feel about that printing? Well, that's cheap. That, that printing is cheap. It's just as much as... It's the same thing. Yeah, but the card stock on it is... The stock on it is cheap, I can tell. Yeah, I know. I know what it is, but the, the it's like a cardboard. Yeah. Yeah, but it, it doesn't need to be like like this. You know, you know what I mean? You get away with that being a cardboard, and it looks great. I, look, I think it looks great regardless of what. That was like the when I first started trying to create cards and pr and print them out myself and make foil in. I bought that kind of stock instead, and I, that's when I was like, oh, this is way too thick. So I, trying to find smaller cardstock of that type of material was expensive. And because you can't buy just one sheet, you gotta buy in multiple sheets. They never sell them like that. So well, you, you can get them in sheets of 12s. It's like, you know, like 20 bucks, 20, $15 around that ballpark. Just for you to experiment once and then never use it again. Because <laughs> you got the wrong, you know, thickness. So now we're going to game three. Uh, sorry, game two. I wonder what kind of adjustments both players did for this. I'm pretty sure... Corey has some sort of side deck because uh, I remember him talking about prepping and, and, and 
working on the side bag for the event. So would be cool to see if he had some sort of tech for the mirror match. Interesting enough, uh, there's a player in here who has a 15 card side deck dedicated to just play Necro. It's uh, Necropolis and then 14 Necro cards. All just to go against um, Mill. Like they play the field card, the Necropolis. Okay. In the sideboard, and then 14 cards. So like three iron scraps, three graveyard, three this and that. So when they start milling, they benefit from all the stuff that, because of that. Oh, I actually actually went against something like that last night. Uh, the player did that, turned their deck into that, and it didn't work as well as they wanted it to. I think I think we hit it on the on the nail with the whole Slayer build. I think Slayer build is like. I'll give okay. You, I'll give these to you later. Yeah, I'm not worried about it right now. I'm gonna get some water. You want it? No, no, I got. I still got my two, my drink. If anything, I want food, but like. I'm gonna try to see if I can get some water. That is, that's unfortunate. Oh, I thought, you know what? I, I honestly thought that he, he attacked. He actually just said, I activate my, my, <coughs> my Richie's effect, right? Okay, here goes the Texarac play. What is he gonna play for the turn? What is his summon? Zala? Okay, I like Zala. Zala's great. Does he have the little devils in hand? Let's see, show me a little devil, no little devils. Maybe he has a little devil, maybe he doesn't. And he chose not to use it, but whenever I play that deck, I always just bum rush little devil. I just try to use it as quick as possible, fast as possible, get as much draw out of it. I don't even try to use little devil as a way of like interrupting my opponent and to me when I play when I play I use it as a source of draw So he does play the little double. Unfortunately, he just milled it off. There you go. One, two, triggering the Karen. Karen will mill two, giving him a plus one, plus one for the for the rest of the turn. He has to be careful here because he can block Transformative Clash, get a draw from the Zala. Oh, here, here's his Transformative Clash. I was just talking about it, and now he goes and uses his. Wait, what? What just happened? Oh, right, right, right. Okay, all right. I missed that. Yeah, no, no, no. I just, I, I peeped. Yeah. Yeah, I was looking at the left. I seen a guy do the, do the clash. He started milling. I'm like, why did he start milling? I didn't realize that uh, Corey played a negate. Good on him.
Okay, so he, he, he put the field card somewhat on the chain to symbolize the order. That's kind of different. Different. I've never seen it done. I've never seen it done that way before. But I understand what it was going for. Man, that's unfortunate because he did play the Nanami. He didn't have enough symbiotes. If he did, he wouldn't have gotten negated. Take it back. Oh, he needs something here. There we go. He got it. He got it. So what I what I've also been like uh, noticing too, when you play against um, dragons, you wanna you wanna negate their field card right here, right here is, stop that field card trigger, man. It really really hurts them, man. I, and I know this from experience. It's not like I'm, you know I've I've played the deck. I've had it happen to me where they just negated my field card twice in a row back to back. Man, that just pretty much lost me the game. Because I was banking so much on the draw. Corey needs to somehow get a negate. He's going to need it. go and I think he has like maybe about eight cards left in the deck wait he can't play that oh he just has a hand cost Use those hand costs. All right, Roger, 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 Roger. Okay, I see. I I I, I legit thought he played it, and I'm like, wait, he can't play that. I mean, technically he could play it, but it doesn't do anything. But in this case, you use it as a hand cost. So he put graveyard as a sideboard card. Okay, I see you. I think Kellogg might, might end up stealing this game. Well, I don't say stealing, but like, he looks like he's going to win this one. I 
No, it's not. It's not pretty close at all. It's not close at all. Yeah, he couldn't. He couldn't afford to to to, to attack. And he like he didn't organize it correctly here. So all, all Kellos have to do is play a character, swing out three teams, and he won. So that's why, man, like he he's gonna steal the steal the game, right? Because Corey organized incorrectly here. You know what I mean? Not not because of anything else. Right, right, right. That's exactly that. Separate the team. Tackle for all three. And you should be able to get that one prize. This is bad. This is bad. I mean, Corey loses here no matter what. Corey lost. Unless, unless for some crazy reason, Corey can get five prizes right now. If he can win five battery awards, he wins. I don't think that's gonna happen here. I don't think that's that that's gonna be something that he can do. Yeah, but he based based on what he has. I was just basing it off what he has. There's no way he wins this. It's it's, it's a wrap. You know, don't waste time. Go to game. Go to game three. Actually, all, all that right there was a waste of time. It was just waste of, waste of time. There's not much time in around. You know what I mean? Time is precious. So instead of just doing that, just you know, you know it was inevitable. You, you weren't gonna, you weren't gonna win. Just, just, just go to game three and, and figure out what your next game plan is gonna be. So that was that was good on Corey. Um, unfortunately, because it's because it's our list public, maybe he's hoping to see a piece of info. Yeah, he needed he needed the cards. He didn't have the cards in his hand to to win that game. It was just like I said, it was, it was unfortunate. We we see what was in his hand. All he had was charge. Charge wasn't giving him enough to 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 win the the five brs. Would have been sweet. Would have been sweet, but. I would have loved to see a comeback like that. That would have been awesome. Not the strongest play, but Zala's still a good card. I, I, I love me some Zala, you know what I mean? Yeah, you gotta give him the one core. Give him the one. No reason to block that. You injure very terrible.
Oh, you had a raw player Richie like that. That's that's a feel bad moment when you have to play Richie like that. Charge? What are, you, what are you charging here? What are you charging? Oh no! You got the twin blade, Karen. Why didn't you charge the twin blade, Karen? No block here. Getting the two prize. This was this was going pretty fast. He has to charge. He has to charge. His fuel card forces you to charge. No, he played he played Tesseract. That was Tesseract. He just didn't separate them. It wasn't like he organized. He just he just transformed over and that was it, you know? That's why you shark. Be careful, man. You 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 could get a you could get a game loss for sharking. It it needs to be good sharks. You know, like sharks that make sense. Why? Okay, so he blocked the Richie. I wonder why. Why didn't he block the other team? Oh no, because he got rid of he got rid of his his one ability card, right? Yeah, I forgot. I was wondering. I was like, why didn't why didn't he just block the other team, injure it with the uh, dragon? But he actually charged it. Hmm. Mm. Do we get the Sophie? Is that what we getting? Is it Sophie time? I don't think so. I think it's time to play Ryu, right? Yeah, Ryu try to play uh, the Richie again. If you can get the re oh no no Ryu, oh that's that's tough, that's tough. Yeah, I, I agree on that block. That's a good block. See that happen? Oh, that's tough. Two 
two dragon breaths just got ripped. Not not even from his opponent. He ripped it himself. That's that sucks. Cause that would have been super useful right now, especially since he has Ryu. He has the re Ryu out. He could have swung out, Dragon Breath, Dragon Breath. You know what I mean? Like that would have been amazing. You search it for Dynamo. Dynamo. I think he has to block here. I don't think he can afford to give him two prizes. I mean, he could give him two prizes, but then he's 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 in range of like losing. That he could have, and he would have drew, and he would have drew a card, he would drew a card. But you know, like like I said, you're on stream. Sometimes nerves happen. You are also like in a cold room because this very not, when I say it's cold, it is actually super cold in there. Like I'm not even joking. So I I can see like little small things like that playing them playing a fact, you know. Playing a role and you make, making those little misplays. So it's still game two? This game three. Okay. Corey lost his uh, last game. Dang. No doubt? Yeah. How you figure? I mean, he could have won. He just needed one more card. If he would have drew the Dragon Breath, oh, that would have been insane. That play. I, to me, it would have been the highlight of the, of the stream of the whole like tournament so far. Or the stream, I should say. I would say tournament. I can't. I'm not watching anybody else's game. But that would have been so sick. Especially after seeing his opponent misplay. His opponent could have swung with three teams and would have won right there and then. Corey only had one card left and two teams. You know, you know, this is the guy that I get the Dynamo Richie to, right? Uh, I, I know. I oh, know. you weren't there. Okay. So, like, when we get the PR, right? We're hanging out. No, that's the guy that's in the picture at the yes. Starbucks. Yeah, I know. I didn't know you gave him any cards or anything like that. Yeah, he was the one with the ML. He was in the. He came and picked me up. Esperando sueño. I think so. Yeah, I think I'm waiting on like. That and our morning on like freaking. Sugar. I don't think he did. I don't. What? What triggered Palace? I don't see nothing that triggered Palace. Did it? Oh, the Richie. The Richie. I'm, I'm sorry. Yeah. Yeah. But didn't he just charge? He just charged the um, the 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 graveyard, right? That's that's for the palace. Are 
Is that a charger? Yeah, I got my cable. I don't know if it works. Type C? No, that. No, yours. That's the PC in it. Is it a battery? Well, I'm pretty sure that's the PC. Where's the tower on the PC? That's the tower. So that laptop is. I thought this was yours. Yeah, it is mine. Then, then what's the monitor for? The owner's laptop. Oh, did this? This one here? I love that car. I love that car so much. Konami? No, uh, Symbiosis. Symbiosis. There's a reason why I made it. Made it cost three instead of making it cost two. What's the reason? It's too good. I thought it was because I thought it was just because of the mill. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The, the mill, the fact that it's, it's a plasma card, it goes to the Dragon deck, goes all that can play it, and all that stuff like that. There's, there's so much, there's, there's no there's no downside other than the fact that it costs three. That's the only downside to the card. Uh, there's, there's a tie. No, it's six. Six, six, so two. six to five. This could be the first game that wins, that you know, wins by bad rewards. Okay, that's eight now, right? Yeah, he's at eight. Five to eight. This might be it. It's turn, right? It's Caleb's turn. Caleb's turn, yeah. Yeah. Wait. Why is that card there? <laughs> he also has Balthazar, right? Oh, he's playing the, the transform. Well, he doesn't transform. No. That's a good meal. Because all the procs. I mean, as uh, Sophie. Sophie gets all the turns. Rip. Oh, my God. He needs to activate Richie, Richie's effect, and pray, and pray he can get something neat. No, no, he can't. He can't. He can't. He can't. He can't. He already played flight tag. He already played flight tag. What did he play? He played. He played. He played Tesseract. He already played flight tag. Alright, looks like it's been thing warnings have been given out.
I could I couldn't tell you. Sorry, yeah. The problem is we don't know what he drew. At least I don't know what he drew. Do you know what he drew? 